In this video, I am going to show you how quickly you can set up your school and get started with selling courses on Teachable. So I have teachable.com open in my browser. So let's click on get started. What we'll require to do is we'll require to create an account. So let me enter my details. Let me enter my email address. and uh, password so once the account is created we need to name our school so let's call it teachific academy and uh, once we click on create new school a new teachable school will be created for us Perfect. Uh, so a couple of things that you would see is one, you will see the URL that it has assigned. So the URL is teachific-academy.teachable.com. So this is a teachable subdomain that you get for free. If you want, you can switch to your own domain as well. So uh, let's go ahead. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to confirm our email address. So let me open my email and uh, let me check the inbox so teachable has sent us a confirmation email so let's click on this and confirm the email so now our account is confirmed let's simply click on this again let's refresh this right so there is no notification that means our account has been confirmed so teachable has listed the different steps for uh, in order to launch your school so the first step is sign up for the free live webinar so this is a webinar that is offered by teachable so if you want uh, to learn in detail how to set up your school you can uh, kind of uh, attend this webinar but for the purpose of uh, this tutorial i'll directly go to create a course so as soon as you click on the create a new course button, you need to input uh, different information about the course itself. So basically there are some information required like name, uh, you have to create an author, there is a subtitle, there is some description. So uh, let us do one thing. Uh, so I have a Word document where I have uh, put some uh, information for this tutorial. So let's name this course as Supply Chain Network Design with Excel. It's basically one of my uh, earlier courses. Uh, we'll need to create a new author. So I'll put my name. Uh, we'll need to enter a subtitle for the or a headline for the author. So here it is. And then we need to input a bio as well. So let's copy this bio. So once you enter the author bio, you can click on add author. Now what you will see is, you will see the author has been selected as Badhuri Amani. Perfect, let's move ahead. Uh, under subtitle, we have the subtitle here. Let's paste it. Learn and master how to use Excel, something. Uh, the next thing is we need to copy the description. So here I'm calling it course summary. So let's copy this entire thing and let's put it here. Right. And let's click on create course. Here we'll create the curriculum for the course. Basically we'll need to upload the actual content for the course. So all teachable courses are comprised of two units. The first one is called section. So treat of section more as a as a group of individual lessons. And the second one obviously is lessons. A lesson is an individual piece of content. So for example, let's rename it as section one. Let's create one more section. Let's rename it as section two. So we now have two sections. So the next step is to actually create the lessons. And 
The quickest way to create lessons on Teachable is to use the functionality called bulk upload. So let's use that. So once you go to bulk upload, you will see the option Google Drive here. So I use Google Drive to upload um, my content to Teachable. And uh, I already have uh, it integrated with my uh, Google Drive account. So I'm searching for videos. I have a folder called videos here. What I'll do is I'll select different lessons. Let's select say uh, some hit files and let's click on upload. So this is how quickly you can upload your content to Teachable. Now you can very quickly reorganize the content using the drag and drop uh, content reorganizer. So uh, basically you click here and you simply drag and drop it here. Let's click on another lesson and put it here. Uh, another lesson, let's put it here. Then let's move say this lecture down the uh, down at the bottom so now we have created a basic curriculum for the course this uh, the course right now has only videos but uh, you can add different types of content whether it is audio uh, whether it is pdf images whatever you want to do so one thing that you would notice is uh, all the lectures right now are in draft mode so basically we have not published them. So what we need to do is we need to select here and what you will see is uh, the, a tick mark here which says toggle publish setting. So if we click on this, it will publish all the unpublished lessons. So that's it. The draft uh, option is no longer here. Similarly, so let's unselect this now. Let's click here and again let's toggle the publish setting. So now we have published all the lessons here. So let's click on this next button. So now we need to add a pricing to our course. You can either make it free or you can uh, make it a one time purchase or a subscription as you want. So let's make it a one time purchase. Let's make it 99 USD. Let's add the pricing and, and that's it. So basically now the course has a price as well. So let's quickly revisit the in information here and uh, we have all the information that we needed to input. So let's do a couple of more things. So let's add an image here for the thumbnail. So what we can do is we can uh, choose a file. So we have a thumbnail added here as well. Uh, let's add a promo video here. So let's go to Google Drive. Let's click on promo video. So the promo video is added to the course as well. So uh, the next step is to quickly uh, visit the, the sales page of the course. So we have no background here. So what we'll do is we'll simply add one of the uh, images from Teachable. So I really like uh, the, yes, this one. So let's click here. So you can use your own image if you wish, but I'm just using the one uh, sub, uh, given by Teachable. So what, what you will see here is uh, this auto populates a, a couple of things. Uh, one, uh, the course description that we had uh, entered earlier, the author bio, uh, then you have the, the course curriculum, and then you further have the frequently asked questions, FAQ. So now what we can do is we can save this. So you have the sales page for this course uh, ready as well. So let's click on publish now. So now the course is published, which means it is publicly visible on your school. So we'll see how it looks and all uh, later. So let's go to the dashboard again and let's complete what's remaining. So the next thing is customize look and feel of your school. So let's click on this. So you have different option here. You can upload a site logo. You can uh, upload a Fabicon. You can upload a home page background and different things. So let's uh, leave it like this. Uh, so, uh, so one good thing with Teachable is that it provides you some standard colors for your uh, for your school. 
So if you click one of the presets, it will change all the things accordingly. So let's select, the, uh, select this blue one. I like this. Let's save. So that's done. Uh, let's go to domains next. So uh, this is the URL of our school, teachific-academy.teachable.com. If you want to change it, you can change it here. Otherwise, if you want to use a custom domain, you can enter it here. But in this case, we are just going to use this uh, domain provided by Teachable. And if you are fine with this domain name, you can simply click on confirm domain, right? So your domain is ready now as well. So let's go to the dashboard again. So we have done all, uh, we have completed all the steps and we are ready to launch our school now. So let's click on this now. So it asks us to pick a plan for our school. So there are three different plans, basic, professional and high volume. But what we'll do is uh, right now we'll launch our school with the free plan only. So let's click on this. Perfect. So our school is launched now. So uh, there is an important message now that in order to be paid out by Teachable, you need to provide a working PayPal address. So let's click on this and let's quickly enter an email address here. And let's click on save. So our school is ready. It's live. The course is live. So let's take a look at how it actually looks. So let's open this URL in the incognito window. So let's see how it looks like. So now when you uh, come to this URL, you will see welcome to Teachific Academy, enroll now and you will see the course listed here. If you have multiple courses, the multiple courses will be listed here. Now let's click on this course uh, card. So now this is the sales page for the course. So once you click on watch promo, you can watch the promo video that we had uploaded. Uh, Otherwise, you have this enroll in course for $99 call to action. Uh, if you go below, you will see the course description section. And uh, next, you have the instructor section. And then you have the course curriculum section. And finally, you have the frequently asked question sections. If you click on this enroll in course for $99 button, you will be first asked to create an account and then you can make the payment which I'm not going to do at this moment. So, uh, so the purpose of this tutorial uh, was to show you how quickly you can get started with Teachable and how easy it is to create courses and start selling on Teachable. So in almost like 15 minutes, we were able to upload content, create a course and then start selling it as well. If you were a complete stranger and if you were going to do it with a platform like WordPress, it would have taken you like uh, at least a couple of weeks to get something up and running. Now Teachable is so easy to use and is so powerful that you can actually start selling in a couple of days. Now ease of use does not mean that only this much is possible with Teachable. You have advanced customization capabilities with, uh, with Teachable. So you can customize your uh, website, your sales pages, your course design, everything on Teachable. But that's for another time. Are not you excited about using Teachable as the platform for your next course? If yes, you can click on the link here and you will get a 30 day trial of Teachable's paid plan. So give it a try. And if you have any questions, let me know. That's all I had for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching it.